Hey guys, today I have a new product from Bite Beauty to talk about. So this is the Agave and Lip Tint Tin. Lip Tint Tin. Uh, this product is limited edition for the holidays. It's 18 Canadian or 14 US dollars, so relatively inexpensive, but you get 10 grams or 0.35 ounces of product, which is a little bit on the smaller side. And this is a vegan and clean at Sephora product. So there are five shades to choose from. We've got Highball, Buzzed, Bramble, Swizzle, which is the one that I'm wearing right now, and Smashed. Interesting choice of names, but whatever. So Swizzle, which is what I'm wearing, is a pink peach pearl. So any of them that are described as like a pearl will have these kind of glitter flecks in them. The glitters kind of dissipate quickly. You can't really notice it when they're actually on your lips, unless you really look up close, but they are pretty subtle. Let's talk about the packaging. Usually when I talk about packaging, I'm like, oh, it's cute, moving on. Cause most of the time, that's all I got to say. But this tin, combined with like this opaque of a color is not really that effective. Putting this bright of a color on my lips with my finger, it's not the sharpest line. So you kind of look like a clown unless you go in and clean it up with a Q-tip, which kind of defeats the purpose of like a tinted balm. It's supposed to be kind of an effortless product, but it's not that effortless when you're like worried what you're looking like, slapping on this really bright pink stuff on your lips. It's different when it's like a colorless balm and it's harder to tell, but I always, especially in like these corners here, it's like smeared and I don't know, maybe I'm just not that good at it, but something that I have a problem with so other people might as well. So they've highlighted these two ingredients. We've got the agave nectar, which is supposed to be nourishing and hydrating and cocoa butter, which is supposed to be soothing. It also has a scent. It kind of smells sweet. I don't really know what it is. I'm not the best at identifying scents. It smells sweet, but when it's on your lips, you can't smell it. It's only if you really try and smell it in the tin that you can smell something kind of sweet. So my thoughts, it looks nice. And when you first put your finger in it and look at the product, it looks pretty bright and it's like, mm, is this really tinted lip balm? But once you blend it in, it looks really nice. The product is just not really, it's not thick enough to be hydrating. Could apply a thicker layer of it, I guess, but then you'd look insane because it's so opaque. It would be like bright pink or whatever shade you choose all over your mouth. And that's, it's not the look. <laughs> it just doesn't really feel like any type of lip balm. It's not even that I'm comparing it to like a hydrating lip mask or anything. It's definitely not on that level, but it's not even on the level of like a regular old lip balm. Like you've got this thin little layer of nothing. It's even a little bit sticky. It's not comfortable. It feels like it's making your lips worse, not better. And it really doesn't last at all. It lasts maybe 30 minutes if you're lucky. It's just not what I was expecting, especially from the promo pics that they have on Sephora. Like the product looks nice and juicy and shiny, but when you look at it, it's just like a flat kind of nothing. Like I put this on 10 minutes ago only and it already feels, I mean, I've been talking for the last 10 minutes, but it already feels just dried out and dusty and like non-existent. The tint is still there, but it just feels like my lips are just shriveling into nothing. Like I'm not satisfied with the hydration, but I at least have a nice looking lip tint. I mean, it sucks putting it on with my finger and my lips kind of feel gross now, but at least there's like one upside. <laughs> I'm trying to rationalize this. Just don't buy it. I do not recommend. Anyway, that's all I got. Thanks for watching and I'll see you later. Bye.